former British and European champion at light middleweight, former WBO world title challenger indeed, and a little bit of pedigree in his opponent tonight, Christian Blatt of Denmark, briefly reigned as European welterweight champion. Let's see how Alexander fared. Well, Wayne Alexander has resurrected his career over the last year or so. He looked on the very brink of retirement when he lost to Delroy Mellis a while back, but uh, he's avenged that, and of course, memorably, he knocked out Takalu with a stunning left hook in a couple of rounds. Here he is in with a former European champion, Christian Blatt of Denmark, and a right hand, Dex Blatt straight away. There's the power of Wayne Alexander. Well, without a doubt, one of the most dangerous punchers in the country. That didn't even look as though it landed full blast. I wonder if that's been caught a little bit cold, but it certainly was a good accurate shot, just a slip from Alexander, a little bit over-anxious, I think. Well, he's always been able to hit and hit very hard, Wayne Alexander. Former European champion himself, Blatt, who has slipped a little of late. It's showing a bit here. Not much head movement. He's getting caught by Alexander, again loses his balance. Must be something wrong with the grip on those boxing boots, I reckon. Good body shot from Blatt, who's normally quite resilient, or was, during his time as a welterweight champion. A brief reign, albeit. But uh, Alexander looks very businesslike in there. He's looking for a fight with a decent American, they say. Yeah, and as usual, he's a little bit reckless. That's what makes him so exciting. He doesn't bother too much about defence, as you can see here. And he's definitely having trouble. That's another good right hand from Alexander. Definitely having trouble with his footing. That could take away some of the punching power if the balance is not right. He's not gripping. He can sometimes look a little fragile himself, mind you, Alexander. But as Jim was saying, that's uh, why you daren't blink when he's around in the ring. Again, he slips. And that's, mind you, so does Blatt. That, that's a bit of a worry, you isn't it, for later on? The canvas, I think. Oh, you have to, if, if both fighters are slipping, you don't want to worry about the canvas. Must be that, mustn't it? I wonder if it's a new one, a bit too shiny. Yeah, well, Blatt seems to have warmed into things a little bit. It looks as though he'd just been caught cold and shocked with that opening right hand, but he seems to have his wits about him now, and he's firing decent punches back now. That's only had a couple of fights in the last 18 months, losing both of them on points. Quite a bad defeat, in fact, to a bloke who usually loses in Romania, Vasily Savchicha. Gets it with a body shot there, and Alexander rather lost his balance. Not a bad recovery from Blatt, who looked like he might get taken out in the opening minute when it started. And that was a decent right hand to follow the body shot to caught Alexander fairly cleanly. Yep, Wayne has to think a little bit more about defence. He isn't a tremendous puncher. But he can't take too many chances, especially up at light middleweight. And gets caught with a left hand there and a right hand as well. Just a little bit careless as the round has gone on here, Alexander. I think he was looking for something very spectacular early on. He did find it, but Black's come back pretty well at him. Side, okay? but Alexander's landed a few more. I said I had it level. Of course, the first fight, the uh, first round was a 10-8 round with the knockdown. So, yeah, Alexander, a point ahead. Correction there. Sorry about that. Here's the fifth round. Looks a bit of a mess, doesn't he? Alexander, that right eye is closing, I think, Jim. Yeah, but, but it's just the overall look. He's just, he's not happy that he's clipped again. He's making so many mistakes. He's turned fights around before with one big powerful shot. I think he's really going to have to do this now. Nothing going right for him. What can he do here, Wayne Alexander? The alarm bells were ringing with that defeat against Delroy Malice, from which he has recovered in his career, although he was clawed, of course, by Howard Clark, wasn't he, in the first round, and then won in the second of that fight. So you did worry then a little bit too. He's, um, He's struggling a little bit with this opponent who probably came and, and it looked like he had become a bit of a travelling loser these days, the former European champion, but obviously he's got interested in this now, hasn't he? Yeah, but Alexander's throwing silly punches now. He's throwing a jab and leaning his, his head in along with the jab. The jab's missing and he's being countered. Good right hand. But again, Blatt, who fancies the job much more now, has taken it well. This is turning into a little bit of a nightmare. For Wayne Alexander. 
and he gets a leaping left hook home there, and then the right hand, he measured that okay, Alexander, here he comes, coming on a bit strong again, body shot as well, the Dane backs away, doesn't fire anything back by way of a counter that time, good little spell for Alexander, now can he keep it going, you bet he can, with the right hand, cracking shot, vintage Wayne Alexander, will Black get up from that one, no, this is going to be over, Nine. Counted out Seven. all over. There's the answer from Wayne Alexander. He has the equaliser. Well, he needed it badly. I was just saying that, and he supplied it. What a beautiful right hand punch. He just seemed to spark into life. Suddenly, the talent that we know he has seemed to come to the fore. He was driving Black back. The body shots were landing the hooks, and that beautiful right hand to, to finish. But, what took him so long tonight? Why did he keep us on the edge oh, of our seats like that? Oh, That's just what he's all about. Don't moan about it, Jim. He's, he's come up with an explosive win, hasn't he, in the end? I mean, that's what he's going to have to do, I think, at this stage of his career. We've got to be realistic. And he, he always did look vulnerable, even in his, the prime of his career, didn't he? He was vulnerable, Ian, but he didn't box as badly as that. He wasn't so short of ideas. His timing wasn't so bad. I really still feel there was something wrong with his footing. But suddenly he burst into life. The jab seemed to start things off then he slipped in a beautiful right hand beautiful right hand punch bang on the chin he does that automatically he doesn't have to think about it but uh, on my card it began to look like he badly needed it and he supplied it bang on time he's he's won it he's won it in the fifth round by knockout alexander now 22 wins 18 of them inside schedule against his two defeats one against harry simon no shame in that the other against delroy malice which was a big shock at the time he's still on top of the light middleweight pile in britain wayne alexander dramatic stuff i can't get off of these eight rounders i can't get off of them i need i need big big fighters i need i need to fight for world titles proper world titles and all these eight round domestic guys european cars guys I can't get off for. I'm looking for the big boys. I mean, it looked like you were in some. You looked like you were in some trouble for a while. Your eyes uh, closed. Then uh, were you slipping on the canvas as well? well yeah, the canvas was very slippery. I got new boots as well, but um, the canvas was slippery. Um, I caught him in the first round with a good shot, and I, I rushed a bit. But I um, mean, you know, round two, three, and four, he started to like outbox me a bit. But I, I knew I'd get to him in the end. You know. You've still got that natural power to always, it seems, get you out of jail. Talk us through the knockdown. Yeah, um, I caught him with the, the, the same punch in the first round. You know, um, moved to the, moved to, the, to my right. You know, move his, slip past his right, his left jab and throw the right hand. John was telling me to do that, but move my head more. I wasn't moving my head enough. I was looking for it too much, but you know. Do you have to work on the head movement and the boxing skills if you are to go for a bigger title? Think about it. I do it in the gym. I'm in the gym all day long. I move my head, bob and weave, and you slip and slide. And when I get out of there, you know, I'm too determined to knock him out. But when I get in there with somebody who's favourite to beat me or a proper world champion. I think you'll see the best of me. It's time for a big fight. Definitely, definitely. Frank, you know, Frank Warren, as like I said, brilliant promoter, and um, I know, you know, he can, he can get me a big fight, you know.